My name is Lupe Valdez, L-U-P-E-V-A-L-D-E-Z. I'm the police chief here in Angleton. I'm joined by uh, DPS Sergeant Thomas, uh, the Constable Willie Howe, Sergeant Lieutenant Parsons, and Lieutenant Moore. This is our public information officer, Sergeant Budnick, B-U-D-N-I-C-K, who will be talking to you here in just a few minutes. At uh, approximately 8.20 this morning, we responded to a uh, call of a shooting with multiple victim with multiple victims uh, lieutenant and I lieutenant Moore and myself were the first to arrive on scene we located two victims who were suffering from gunshot wounds uh, we did not have a suspect here on the scene that was initially cleared that he was not here so we took care of the two victims the two victims uh, are were treated by our local AMS and transported by a life flight helicopter. Uh, they were still they were still alive whenever they left here. So I will uh, give you to Sergeant Budnick, and he can give you uh, information on the suspect and vehicle description on the suspect. Hi, I'm uh, Sergeant Budnick. It's spelled B-U-D-N-I-C-K. Um, the suspect information is Bradley Jones, date of birth 127, 1989. Um, the information we received on the vehicle is it's either a silver or blue uh, 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500. Um, we are currently, you know, checking social media, uh, contacting families, um, trying to find more information and details about the shooting today. Um, do you guys have any questions for me? We don't at this time. Do you have a motive? We, we don't. It feels about this. What, what, what is it? It's, it's currently being investigated. We're trying to figure out the causes and they circumstances. Where, where the workplace is. Oh. This, this, this is uh, an industrial type facility. It's called thermal polymer. Uh, it's an industrial type facility. So I think you can, uh, we can talk about the, his, his, our suspect's wife, is a former employee here. That's the relation that, that has to, to here. So our suspect's wife is a former employee. She does not currently work here. And so we, we're reaching out to the families trying to get more additional information um, to maybe possibly locating his whereabouts. So at this point, he is still at large. He is still at large. Uh, we are asking the public, if anybody knows of his whereabouts, to please let us know. I also wanted to, to make sure and thank our partners are, uh, we ask for mutual aid. We're a small agency. We ask for mutual aid and uh, federal, state, local, uh, county authorities all helped. Uh, neighboring cities came in to help us uh, with taking calls and doing whatever we need to do here at the scene. So I wanna make sure that, that, uh, that we thank them as well. So I'll, I'll, I'll answer any questions you have as well. No, sir. No, sir. There were there were several people here. Uh, how many employees were at the time here? Uh, I, I, all I can tell you is there were several. I don't know the exact number. Do you know if a former employee was terminated? I have no. I don't have that information. Was the wife of the suspect shot? Was she one of the ones shot? No. She's former employee. She doesn't work here. No. At this point, we don't know that, but we believe so. Do you have a, uh, you, you gave the truck description. Is there a, a description of the suspect itself? Yes. I can answer that. Uh, so um, our current records show he's got, he's blonde hair, blue eye. Uh, he does appear to be uh, currently balding. Um, he's, I think 150 pounds is what the record said, uh, five, eight. Um, but that's currently what we have. Do we have a picture of him? Um, we do in RMS, but we can, can, we can have a picture of him. We can release it. We can release uh, a picture of him as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The shooting shooting was inside that, that small building you see right there. The shooting happened inside that small building. How did he get in? The door was open. Any further update on their condition at this 
not at this point, no, sir. No, ma'am. Sorry. Any um, age range, or is there a male or female? We have one male and one female victim. Don't know an age range. They were flown by uh, Life Flight to Houston. And has he gotten a sense of how, you know, from the other employees that were, how it happened? I mean, he just opened the door and came in. Did he say anything, or was there anything, like, what, what led up right before the shooting? Did, was he able to get that? And it, the initial information we have is there's another employee here, a female employee. He held a gun to her head and walked inside the building. And he did not shoot her. He shot the, the other two people. They were in a back office. Were there uh, supervisors that those persons were with? Were there was it regular employees? Dad, I couldn't tell you, sir. I don't know. Well, I'll find out. And at this point, you believe he's armed and dangerous, this Bradley guy? At this point, we believe he's armed and dangerous, yes. Do you know what kind of weapon he had? Uh, it was a gun, a pistol. So. I guess your message to the folks here in Angleton as you guys are trying to find this guy, you know, what they should this is a small community. Uh, we have notified our school district as well. We have schools that are local and uh, they've gone through whatever protocols they go through. Uh, if you know this guy and if you see him, please let us know so that we can take appropriate action wherever is necessary. We have our partners with Missouri County, with the state, uh, state police, uh, checking an address where he's at or where we believe he was, his last known location at this time. So as soon as we have any further updated information, we will certainly let you know. Was there any clothing description or anything else of what he was wearing maybe this morning? We don't have that information at this time. Is there any surveillance video? Yes, there is surveillance video. However, uh, at this point, uh, there's nobody here that can unlock it for us. So we're working on that with our uh, detectives. Anything else? 